Hey, hey, hey. Time to focus your energy for the week. Come on in. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in and join me. Sunday evening. Time to bring all that energy in and focus. Check in with the cosmic energy. See what's going on. Come on in. Pulling all that energy in. What a beautiful weekend we had. What a big difference in energy. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Come on in. Beautiful week. Beautiful weekend. Big change in energy, right? We all felt it. Yep. Typical of what's going on in the cosmic field right now. Come on in and join me. Take a few moments. Balance your energy for the week. Check in and see what's going on. Definitely a lot going on out there. Thanks for the thumbs up. Yes, we have a lot of energy going on. What an intense weekend we had last weekend with all that cold all around. And now this weekend, kind of different, right? Very typical for the energy, too, that's going on. We're in the season of winter. How are we doing with that? Winter has a tendency to draw us in, right? But many of us just want to keep going on out there. I know for myself, I kind of fight it. I really want to pull in, but I keep busy. And so I know for myself, I really have to find the ability to balance. What do you notice during the winter? Hey, Heidi, come on in. What do you notice? Do you notice where the energy pulls on you? When we look at the elements of winter, it's really we're talking about the energy of water. We're looking at the kidneys and the bladder. Yep. You may notice, too, you're craving some of the salt. I know for me it's like salt, which is really all about minerals. And actually this week, um, coming up on the Empowered Spirit Show, we're going to be talking about traditional Chinese medicine and looking at that elemental system. Very fascinating, the way the whole system works together, the way the energies work with each other, the generating, the destroying, all that kind of energy. Hey, Millie, welcome. Come on in. What do you notice for the winter? I noticed for me lately, I can't get enough water. Have you noticed that for yourself? I've just been drinking and drinking and drinking. It feels good. It feels good to flush the kidneys out. That's the elements we work with in the winter. We really want to let some of that old stagnant energy just keep moving. The tendency is to pull in, to get stuck in our energy, to isolate. And this helps us to move through as we open up to some of that kidney energy balancing Balancing the bladder, balancing the kidney. We also hold a lot of fear sometimes during the winter too. Like, oh no, I can't make it. Yes, Millie has said she notices that too. Hey, Laurie, come on in. Come on in, Z girl. Yeah, so lots of times in the winter, we start to feel a little isolated with that kind of energy. So really important that we open up to the elements of that for ourselves, really, and really begin to express some of that energy. The more water we drink, the more it helps to flush out those systems for us and helps us to process our energy. I know today we had a Reiki class and we we're all drinking water. And we we're all noticing how we were able to flush through. So yeah, that's one of the things when we look at winter season, what we need to work with to help us really balance some of that energy, some of that emotional energy. Many of us get really blue in the winter. And that's part of the reason. Part of the reason of, is of the light too, right? Part of it is all about that as well. So we need to really feel that we're connected, drinking the water, moving the energy, and really adding some color, adding some color into your life. Really important to help process that. The color associated with the elemental system in winter is black, right? And we notice that sometimes too when we get the dark circles under our eyes. That's a little bit of a sign that the kidneys aren't functioning. They're not processing enough for you. Maybe you've noticed that. Give me a thumbs up if you've noticed that. But on the podcast this week, it comes out on Wednesday. Foti, he's a um, traditional Chinese medicine here in Birmingham. He's going to share some of that energy with us and some of the elemental season, elemental season system as he, as he works with it as well. Hello. Too much energy going on for me right now. I just came from a Reiki one. Very interesting class. They're always very different. But anyway, if you're interested in finding out more on how Chinese medicine can help you with your lifestyle and what he talks about how we relate to the world, very interesting. Check it out Wednesday. It comes out. Because the winter season, not many people like the winter season. Give me a thumbs up. Do you like it? Let me know below if winter is one of your favorite seasons or do you really just kind of want to be done? I know for me especially even living in New York, I actually do like the winter. I know I've had a lot of cold lately, but I think it's good for us, and I like the ability to pull in. What about you? What do you think? Do you like that kind of energy, or does it really just feel isolating and depressing? Which is it for you? 
I like to have the ability to slow down. I really do, although it's kind of hard in our society, but I'd like to have the ability to do it. Sean says he likes it. All right. Laurie says, love you. Thanks, Laurie. A one is her card, and she says yes. All right. So there we go. Really important. So what is going on in the cosmos right now? This is a really, really great week to get things done. Really is. We might have noticed it this weekend. Very productive. How many of you noticed that? Did you notice that you were being productive this weekend? I did. I did a lot of cleaning. I did a lot of straightening up. I really was able to get a bunch of things done. And we're going to take that energy in the week with us as well. We're going to take that through. We can get a lot of things done. We just went through that new moon energy. And we've got it sandwiched between both of those super moons, right? We're going to start to feel that building. All right. I need to share this. I don't think I've shared it yet. I'm having a little trouble here with my Facebook, my internet. Maybe it'll should come up. But if you can share it for me, that would be great. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. Let me share it to the group. Yeah. And if you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come on on and join us. Have some fun things coming up as we start to get further into winter. Yeah, it's not really letting me do it. I don't know what's going on. So maybe you can do it for me as well. Put it out there. I'll always share it later if I can't. Going to give it one more try. Yeah, over at the Empowered Spirit Circle, we talk to each other. We do a lot of fun things. Here we go. All right, here we go. Going to find it in a minute. Can't find it. Don't know where it is. Give me a second. Hard for me to do more than one thing at a time. Uh, okay, so let me know below. Put some comments in. What do you think about the winter season for you? Are you able to really cope and manage? Or is it a little bit harder for you? All right, here we are. It says I was live. What is today? That was last week. I am wearing the same thing I wore last week. How funny is that? Okay, that's because I'm teaching Reiki and I always teach in right. We had a very interesting class. All right, a lot of challenging energy for me this time. Not always the case, but very interesting. I learn a lot every time I teach. All right, there we go. Yay, I found it. I'm sharing it. Then I can let go of the distractions. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Sharing it there. All right, distractions done. All right, let's see. I'm from the north, so I don't mind winter too much. All right, Millie, thanks. All right, Sean, it lets me have time to review. Yes, and plan new goals. That's exactly what I like it for, too. I really, because like sometimes we push so hard, and it really gives us the opportunity. All right, and you may notice that you're sleeping a little more. It's cold, we want to sleep, and that's actually a good thing. I know I'm one for getting up early, starting my practice, but hey, sometimes that practice can start in bed. I like the idea, right? Laying in bed, running your energy, taking a little bit extra dream time. I had a dream the other morning that was very frightening for me, and it was very interesting the people that came in to help me. In fact, I've reached out to thank them for all the times they've helped me in my life. Very interesting. And I kept saying I had to figure it out and I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized this is a dream. Just wake up. And so I did. I just kind of woke up and pulled myself out. And dreams like that can be puzzling. But for me, it's like, okay, let me just put it out there. Let me thank the people in my life to have helped me. They were helping me. I was back in New York. It was very interesting. But using that dream time is really, really important. It really is. Hey, Thelma, happy Sunday. Hey, Brad, happy the Sunday to you too. So we're kind of talking about the energy of winter. We're talking about where we are. We're talking about how sometimes winter can be a little isolating for each other. And the elements of winter being the kidneys, the bladder. We're in the season of this direction of the north. So really finding ways to move through. Drinking water, adding a little salt can be very helpful. Getting your minerals. Vitamin C, really important. These are things that we're actually talking about on the Empowered Spirit Show Coming up this week with Foti, he's a traditional Chinese medicine person. He's going to share more of those tips with us. So check it out. Subscribe. I'm out there on all the platforms. All you have to do is find me on like Apple Podcasts or even on your Android. Whatever your favorite podcast platform is, I'm going to be out there. I did switch it up this year. And then we moved into talking about the energy of this week. We went through the new moon last week. Now we're back around to really building those intentions, all right? We're in the midst of that eclipse season. It just started as well with that new moon. We're going to come around. We're sitting right between those full moons. This is the time to put the intentions out there. I really can't stress it enough. This is the time that you really want to open up to that energy, put it out there, and begin to kind of really set some of those goals. You don't necessarily have to get out there and physically do it. 
it all, but intend to do it. Put it out there for yourself. Start working towards some of that energy for you. So as we go through the week this week, we're going to start to feel that. We started to feel that shift in energy and temperature too, right? It was like, oh my God, last week really happened and we were so cold. This week we warmed up a little bit. Also, our energy was able to focus a little bit more too. Very important week before we get to the weekend. So use your time productively. Get those things done. Don't procrastinate. Really work with the energy coming forward. All right, we got a little mercury energy coming up. So use a little discernment in your communications. Think before you speak really big lesson for everybody kind of really discern what it is you need to say and how you need to communicate as well we're going to find still more of that feminine energy coming forward the boundaries of the feminine energy being being out there as well we're also going to maybe do a little bit we have some of that venus energy coming up with that full moon so we're also going to be looking at both sides of the coin and maybe you're going to be challenged a little bit with your role right now and what it is that you're doing so the best way that we work with that is really coming back into our spirit and really opening up, using your meditation, using your Reiki energy to help you really figure out whatever that imbalance is. We don't have to judge it. We kind of got into that conversation today, judging it and wanting it to be better. We don't need to do that. Just let the energy flow. Just be aware. I think that awareness is really key. And I think this is a really good week to really be aware of where you are. All right, we've already, we're now, what, in the third week of the new year and had a lot of the energy move forward and move around. We don't have to have already reached all those goals, but setting the intention is key. And then we can be productive and getting some of that stuff. Maybe you had a lot of stuff pile up. I know if you own your own business right now, everybody's trying to get their taxes done and trying to get all that in. And it's a good time to review a lot of that energy that's going forward for you. What's working and what's not. So that's kind of the energy that we want to put out this week. We want to use our time productively. We really want to be able to open up to some of those intentions that we have set. And we also start to look back to last year when that big eclipse came, right? Where were you and what were you doing back in August? Some of that energy is coming back around for you to revisit and look at. Really kind of be back into reaffirming. I know for me, it's part of my my work right reaffirm that I'm doing this work yes I can get it out there I can help other people do the same and that's what this energy is going to be about this week so be productive in your work week all right so let's just take a moment I think the best way to do that is to ground the energy really important to be grounded in what we're doing right now so let's just take a moment before we get to the cards cards are really good this week too very spot on take a deep breath if you can Inhaling, <sighs> exhaling, let all that energy just fall down and start to feel the energy coming in, all that running around, beautiful day outside, pulling that energy back in, call in the spiritual body, call in and let it align, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet, feel that alignment coming forward, feel yourself pulling all those little parts that you've scattered all around, feel that coming in, take a deep inhale, and just ah, let it go, all that excess energy. Beautiful day out there. I know we want to let it continue. Coming back into a work week, inhaling, let that anxiety go as you ground your energy. Feel the feet grounded on the universe, on the earth. Call in. Let's take a moment and just call in your guides. Call in spirit. Call in that inner part of who you are to come forward as well. Open up. Take a few more breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Send that energy down. I know I need a little grounding. I'm a little high from doing all those attunements. Exhale, feel the feet connected to the earth. Feel the center, bring your energy in, pull your hands in together and just take a moment. Release the excess energy, whatever it is for you, whoever's energy you're holding on to, let it go. Ask yourself, what am I holding on to? And feel that energy centering. Let's take a moment and honor the seasons. Let's honor the winter, good, bad, or indifferent. It's a season we go through. Pulling that energy in. Calling in the direction of the north, the east, the south, and the west. Above us, below us, right in the very center. Open your heart. Drop the ego. Let the ego open up from the heart. That helps us to center. Bring in all that awareness back in. Feel yourself grounding. Inhaling. And exhaling. 
coming back. Very easy to do, right? Very easy just to take those few minutes. You know, I actually talked about this last week on the podcast, the one that was released about a ritual for work. Really important, really important. We start to bring some of this energy and these rituals out into our workplace. If you missed it, check it out. It was episode three on the On the Empowered Spirit Show. Talked about doing a ritual very simple like that. Taking into account your desk, taking into account your office, and just opening up. And then having that brain dump for your to-do list. Really important. Check it out. Empowered Spirit Show if you missed it last week. All right. Very good to ground. I feel better. Yay. All right. So we had some interesting cards. Maybe you chose one, two, or three. We're going to look at them right now. If you chose number one, I love this card, Son of Pentacles. All right. This is about that energy of being really determined on our path. All right, look how the, the, the animal, the deer, is looking down. It's someone that's very determined. They're going to do their work. They're going to stay fast. Really great card right now. Bring in that ability to really learn, hone in on your skills. Now, the only thing about this card that I want to mention is don't forget to come up and look every once in a while. All right, when we stay too focused, we forget to check in with the universe going around. But a really great card for right now. Perfect for this week. Do your work. Got a thumbs up. All right, Sean, I know I'm talking to you on this one, right? And then the next card really is a great card to follow, all right? This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is all about doing our work. This is building that web, right? Building that web and being successful at it, honing in on the skills. Really good. All right, Millie gave me a perfect on that. Really important that you continue to build those skills. Weave your web. I know one of the things my coaches taught us was about when you're trying to find people for your work and your classes and filling them up, send that web of energy out there. That's another way to look at this card. For all those that need your service, for all those that you can be of service to, put that web of energy out there. Continue to hone your skills. If this is the card you drew, know that you're doing really well and continue working with it. All right, the third card, another sun. I love this. All right, this is the sun of swords. Look at this card. This is somebody that's really honing in, really picking up the details, really getting all those facts, really see how that, that eagle's like really honing in, all right? Eagle eye, getting those details. And again, the thing that we look for this is sun energy is a lot about that 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 kind of that raw energy, all right? It's that young energy. So that's great for when we're building. And I think it's a really good energy for the winter. But again, don't forget to look around. Don't get too caught in a one-track thinking, all right? Be able to open up the awareness. Get the details. Bring those details in. But be sure to let it, let it really kind of open up, all right? The card kind of all points towards the inside if you were to really look at the lines. And look how he's looking down. So it really works well with this card of the, the pentacles. Similar idea. Similar energy. One has to do with the physical plane. And one has to do backwards pentacles is the the earth plane the money plane the making plane and this one has to do the source has to do with the mental plane so this is forming your intentions and forming your ideas all right just be careful don't get too nitpicky all right that sun energy can do that then the overall card for all of us i love it it's a perfect card it's the ten of swords all right this is all about energy that's done. It's over with. It's time to put it to rest. All right, so maybe there's something in your life you're still carrying around from even last year. This is the perfect opportunity right now, right between these full moons to release it out, especially as this energy builds. So if, you've, if this card is speaking to you, know that it's time to release some energy out. It's time to let it go. How do we do that? We go back to the other cards that we drew. Look at the details and figure out what it is you can throw away. What it is you can release as you build your web. There's not everything that's going to stick. What is it that you can let go? And as you look at those intentions in the mental plane, definitely a lot of that churning of energy that we all can let go of. Really, really important, right? It looks like a lot of chaos in there. What is it in your life? Leave me a comment below. What is it in your life you can let go of so that you can build the proper, the proper skills that you need? We can't do everything. We can't hold on to everything. Now's the perfect time. We're actually coming, across, coming into the Chinese New Year. That's a perfect time to declutter and let go, which is actually what this card is also speaking to as well. Where can you clean out? Go through your files. Now's the time to clean all that stuff out. Go through your house. Declutter. Release that energy. The more that you release, the more that new energy will come in for you. All right. How does that feel for you guys? Post below. Let me know if you have some questions. Let me know if you want me to choose a card for you. 
Let me know how those cards are sitting. Really good cards. Some young energy coming in, some honing of our skills coming in, building our craft, which is perfect as we start out this year, and especially that letting go, all right? All right, Thelma, you want a card? Should I be doing more in my spiritual life or your physical life? Is that an and or is that a both? All right, let's see what comes up for you, Thelma. Spiritual or physical? All right, so the card that comes up is a justice card. And this really is a balance. So really the answer for that is balance. Where can you balance your physical and your spiritual life? Look at the black and the white cat. Look at the sword coming in. Sometimes if we go too much on one, we can't bring it in the physical. Sometimes if we go too much in the physical, we lose our spiritual. So I think really the answer for you is find the balance. All right, find that justice. Sometimes we go too far in one, we don't find the justice in it. All right, Laurie. All right, Miss Laurie, Miss Z girl. Let's see what we have for you. The star, Laurie. The star card. Look up into those stars. How perfect for my astrologer, right? Look at those stars. Don't forget that they're shining down for you. Make a wish, Laurie. I love when this card comes forward. It's like, yes, what is it you want to see come forward next for you? Look up to the stars. We know this. The cosmic energy is all around us. All right, Thelma says, thanks, Laurie. What do you think about that one? Perfect for you. All right, Jessica, Jessica, we missed you so much today. Here we go. Jessica, this one's for you. I hope things are going well, as can be expected. Daughter of Cups, Jessica, really beautiful card. So this is allowing you to take that intuitive energy from your heart and help others. Look at the rainbow in the water. Look at the swan, really pretty card. Don't be afraid to open up and share that heart energy with everyone around you. Some of that can be some spiritual work as well. I know you're in a hard situation right now, but just open your heart. Let the energy guide you. Perfect card, I think. Really beautiful card. That daughter energy. Yes, we don't have to know everything, and we can just open up and be guided. Beautiful card for that. All right. Brett wants a card. How you doing, Brett? How's everything down there in Mobile? Oh, Brett, I got the devil card. Okay, very interesting card. I like to look at this card as self-sabotage. Where are we getting in our way? All right, what are we holding on to? That goes back to this other card that we had with that 10 of swords, letting it go, all right? Where are we self-sabotaging? Where are we getting into our... Where are we getting in our own way, all right? So I'm gonna ask you, what are you getting in your way about? Where is it? Is it fear? Is it an addiction? Are you repeating the same patterns? That's what this card comes up to remind us. Look at the red on his feet. The red is burning him, right? All right, so sometimes we do that. We just get in our own way. We can't get out of it, and so we self-sabotage. I mean, look at the pentacle on his forehead. You've got that ability, but let go of some of those things that are getting in your way, all right? I hope that resonates with you. I hope you can know. I hope you find a way to do that. All right, Sean, we'll give you a card. Heidi, let's see. I see you there, and then Sean will do you. All right, Heidi, this one's for you. We got the Eight of Cups. All right, so the Eight of Cups is about some sadness being out there, right? Cups, look at all the broken cups around there, but it's not over, all right? Sometimes we have to realize that let those mountains go, let those obstacles go, all right, because there is more to come in. So maybe there has been some heartache, all right, Heidi? Maybe there's been some struggles there with you, but know that once you can let it go, you can open up to a better way. And going back to this card too, this 10, it is time to let some of this go. Once you get that mountain out of your way, you will open up. So what is it for you? What can you let go of? What is done in your life that you're holding on to a little bit too much? And the cups is in the heart realm, all right? It's also, eight is also about, about that infinite possibility. So when we let go of what we're holding on to, especially in the suffering part, we can open up to much more potential, all right? Let it go, definitely let it go, and that's the energy we're moving into right now. All right, Sean, Sean to go around. Ooh, Sean, guess what? I dropped it on the ground, so I'm picking it up. Here it is, it flew out. I love this card for you, we've had it before, the two of wands. That's that determination, you've got it. You're on the right path. You're focusing, look at all the rainbows, focus that energy. You can do whatever it is you choose to do. I love this card. I love it when it shows up and it has shown up for you tonight. So take the energy of that, that son of pentacles, keep learning your craft and focus it out there. It's working. It's definitely working for you. I love it. Awesome. 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 All right, Mindy, love a card. All right, here we go. 
We have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so the Five of Pentacles shows us that there is a little healing that needs to come forward, that there has been a little bit of stress or trouble or struggles. Five represents change. So sometimes we have to go in a little bit more. It looks like the, the rose is crying, right? So know that it's okay to have to go through some healing. Be good to yourself. That's a really important way that we can heal. Be a little loving so that that rose can stand back up. So change is okay and it can feel a little strange, but don't push on it. Right now, the word is to allow. Let go of some of the force of energy to correct it. Let go and allow that change to come forward. And then before we know it, that change feels like it was always there all along for us. So I hope that helps you a little bit. Do a little healing for yourself. Get a treatment. Very important. All right, Millie, what's up for Millie? Oh, Millie, this is one of those interesting cards. All right, there's a lot of chaotic energy. The Nine of Swords, look at that. All right, so is there too much going on right now for you? Is there too much for you to process? Sometimes we have to let it all go. Nines are almost completion. So maybe it's almost like sometimes we can feel like we'll never make it. We want to give up. So it's like, okay, what can we complete so that we can let go of it? Because that next card was what we started with tonight was that 10. All right. So you're almost there. Time to finish it up and finish it for good. All right. Does that make sense, Millie? I hope it does. Yes. Time to finish that up. All right. Jessica says, thank you. I got some, don't know what Brett said. All right, so Beth, Beth would said I'd like a card too. Hey, Tina, how are you? How's everything in New York? I need to call and chat with you. All right, Beth, this is for you. We got the Ace of Cups. This is all about new love coming in. Could be for yourself first and foremost. Look at that, I love it. Look at that energy coming out of that cup. That's heart energy. So some new love coming in for you, Beth. Yes, so where is that gonna be for you? Is it in your relationships right now? I would start with yourself. When we can love ourselves greater, everything around us can be full of love. So really a great card to come forward. I love when this card shows up and it's shown up for you tonight. So where can you open your heart to more love and more light? Really, and where can you apply this in your life? All right, Heidi says she's working on that. True, it has, thank you. All right, all right, T, regarding hubs, getting work or a move. Come to Alabama, T, come to Alabama. All right, let's see what comes up. All right, take a deep inhale. I know this is big for you. All right, so this is about focus. The four of the four of wands is about focusing. There is a vision there. Trust what that vision is. We have to see in between. Look how that comes right into the center. There is a vision, all right? It may not have come in yet, but don't give up on what that vision is. Ask for clarity for him. Have him be clear too. I feel like maybe he's a little wishy-washy. No, I want to do this. No, I want to do that. So have him be a little bit more clear because the vision's there. So setting those intentions for that vision to come forward, right? It's right there in the center. Let it open up. We don't have to know all the details, but sometimes we have to get a little clear, all right? And setting those intentions right now is really, really important, all right? I don't know about a move. I didn't get that there was a move. I got that there's a vision coming forward. All right, so let's see, I don't know. So five is change. I drew one more card for you, T. Five is change, all right? I feel like it's not exactly clear whether there's gonna be a move or not, but there's gonna be a change. Change is coming, so really hone in on that vision. It's there, all right? So even if it's just an inkling right now, let it expand, let it open up from the center out, all right? And know that that change is coming. Sometimes change can feel like chaos, all right? Definitely. All right, thanks, that was perfect. All right, yay, Millie, it makes sense, thanks. All right, T says, I miss you too. Mine did resonate. Brett says she's stuck, can't move forward, fear, depression. All right, so Brett, some of that is the energy of winter. You self-sabotage, all right, so get out of that fear. That's the first thing that self-sabotages us all because we churn it, we churn it, we churn it. All right, make sure you're drinking water. Bring some color into your life. I can't stress that enough. Go get some color lights at Home Depot. Even the Christmas lights, you can find them on sale, all right? That will help really activate some of that energy and lift that up, all right? Don't be isolated, find some other people. All right, you like that? Well, tell them about vision, great. Yay, very helpful. All right, T, yay. All right, guys, definitely lots of energy coming forward for all of us, all right? It is, and the best thing I can really offer is honor the winner, honor your dream time, really important. 
Really be true to your practice. Check out that podcast, The Powered Spirit Show. Check it out on ritual, creating that sacred space. This is the way we start building our spiritual practice. And then this week coming out, we're talking about traditional Chinese medicine. He offers us some really great ways of looking at the elemental system and how that works in our life and how we can relate to the universe and our lifestyle as well. That'll be coming out on Wednesday. All right, everybody, take a deep inhale. Bring the energy together. Pull it in. Release the anxiety as we start another week. Energy's building. It can be a very productive week. Use your time wisely. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Very grateful for all of you for joining me tonight, for bringing these readings forward. Yes, I need to do my work too. I will be honest. Time to do that work as well. Ground the energy. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste. Love you guys.